three, six, five. I'm on that shot clock, shawty. I just can't waste no time. Can we just talk? Let's dance more. I hear blah, blah, blah. I got like one more question left in me. Can we do that dance again? The TU 250X, that Suzuki, is kind of like that bike that you don't expect you're going to like. And I got to say, the one thing I did like about it that I wasn't expecting to like as much, the version I had was fuel injected. And as you guys just saw, uh, my bike is carburetor... Um, not fuel injected to say the least um, I can't think of the term right now um, I mean I had never ridden like I, that was the second bike I've ever ridden this is the first that was the second I like this one a lot more <laughs> um, than what I typically um, or than the other one I like this one a lot, lot more but I think one of the biggest things was like I just really enjoyed the fact that I didn't have to choke it and warm it up and all that. I know this isn't like a legit review because unfortunately I don't have the bike with me and I couldn't give you guys a review of it. But if you want to check out the bike, I'll leave a link in the description below. Possibly, if I remember, remind someone remind me of that. Um, Earlier in the week, I rode a Suzuki TU250 um, for my motorcycle safety course. I looked like an absolute giant on it. Um, sitting on a bike for that long a period of time will make any bike feel uncomfortable, especially for someone my height. So, yeah. The seat was not built for long distance riding. It's also a 250, so it's not built for tall people. Now, with all that being said, let's get down to the pure nitty gritty crap that really matters. And that means that we're getting down to the stuff like, well, is it a good bike? Personally, for it being, I want to say it was uh, almost brand new, a few years old, it only had 20 miles on it, so I literally test drove it right as it was brand new. I actually had less than that when I started to ride on it at the start of the class, and by the time the class was over, I had put maybe 10, 15 miles on it. It looks vintage as all can be. In all honesty, it looks sleek as sleek can be. So many bumps along this road. Do construction here. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so, but anyways, guys, so... What are you doing, dude? Hey, look at the helicopter! Look at it! Let's race the helicopter! It's gonna win. It, it, it's gonna win. It's going that way. I can't just go. There's buildings in my way. It's gonna win. You won. You can give up now. But seriously, no. Could you imagine that? I mean, I would love to do something like that. Ani Marks, get set. Race the helicopter. Aha! On a 250T, you, whatever. So worth it. No, but seriously. Um, so for being only a few years old, if that, I mean, they bought it probably a few years after. In all honesty, it had, like, the nicest design for that bike. Like, each time that I kept walking up to it, and one of the other guys, uh, Juan, said the same thing. He goes, dude, I'm starting to like your bike more and more. I was like, I know, so am I. Like, this is weird. I don't like Suzuki's. And I just found it crazy. I need to find where, um, I think he's from Spencerport, so just, like, right near the area. We need to go riding together. He's a hilarious dude. 
Um, but anyways, so if you want to see a picture of it, I'll leave it right here. And you guys can check that out. So, and let me know what you think. Like, maybe it's just Juan and I who think that, oh, hey, this is an awesome bike. Like, look at how clean that looks. I mean, maybe it's just us. Very well could be. I'm very easily amused and pleased. I mean, it's not, you know? So maybe it's just me who's like, wow, that really is a sleek bike. But no, seriously, this bike rode smooth. It was very nice. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get to get it up above 20 miles an hour. So I will say that in the speeds that I handled it at, um, it handles very well. It handles a lot like this does like this feels is it the 250 um it was too small for me and any of you who might know me i'm 6'5 i look like the jolly green giant on any bike that's not above a 600 i look like the jolly green giant on this 600 so i mean i need something a little bigger than the 250 but anyways my case in point about this bike is that it rode very smooth for the speeds I was taking it at and for being brand new. The brakes were a little um, off and on, and by that I mean you were, they were either on or off if you decided to grab that front brake lever. Even if you tried to progressively grab it, there was like this much space between where the brakes were kind of on and on. And that's not a whole lot of space when you're trying to do maneuvers like that. So. You know, uh, it just doesn't work out all that well. Just saying. I wish I could have gotten it up into like that 30, 40 range to see how it handled. Um, at low speeds, just like any um, bike or anything with a clutch, um, it seems dim-witted and slow. I'm going with the Jeremy Clarkson reference there. It really does seem dim-witted and slow, in all honesty. And I say that with absolute love for this bike, because like I said, it really isn't a bad bike. Um, it really is a nice bike that I would love to um, see if there's a bigger version of it um, to really enjoy. Is it a perfect bike? Of course not. There's no such thing. Um, I don't think that there's any bike that is absolutely 100% perfect and without faults or anything like that. But... With that being said, would I buy one? I mean, that's what this, that's what reviews come down to. Would I buy that Suzuki? In all honesty, a bigger engine, a bigger bike? Yes, I would. If it was like a 900. This is your friendly neighborhood motor vlogger saying, go check out the Suzukis. Their, their cruiser styles are pretty sweet. And they look really vintage too. Like it's not just... Um, your typical new bike where it doesn't look vintage, it just um, is a cruiser, like it's just that style. This one actually felt and seemed very vintage. So, you know, you got to do what you got to do, right? Have a great one, everyone.